So this is the campsite. Um, stayed at last night. Fire pit. Barely enough room for a tent. This would be a stealth camp spot. Because there is not an official campsite. The trail is right here. That's north. I mean south. Goodness. South. North. Campsite. It was alright. A lot of trees around us. Roots everywhere. Um, but anyway. Obviously I can't walk this morning. Um, got some toe problems. And got a long day ahead. Uh, 24.8 miles would be the longest day. Um, that I've had. Um, kind of looking forward to it. Kind of not because... PA rocks. I mean, not like it's awesome. No. Uh, well, sometimes it is, but it uh, it stinks. There's a lot of rocks, and makes walking at a very fast pace very difficult. So I'm gonna try and get this done before it gets dark, and I'm hoping I can. The reason for the big push is. I told someone, um, one of, uh, a family friend, uh, that lives up here, uh, I told them that I would meet them on this date in the afternoon, and it'll be an interesting day, so I'll let you, um, have that this morning, uh, while I'm hiking. Um, but just think, if you can do it, and you think you can do it, just have the determination to keep pushing forward. Make sure you got a plan. Make sure you stick to it and just finish it. Um, but yeah, it'll be an interesting, interesting feat today. That tree right there that's down, this is why trail, um, maintenance should happen. Um, even though it's not that big of a deal, someone should have, you know, moved it over or something. But I just got stuck in the stomach by that branch that's sticking out. Also, it stuck me in the stomach and moved down my side and pulled my phone and my charging block out. And they hit the ground. I didn't even hear them hit the ground because they landed pretty softly on... Uh, it landed on some leaves, and I didn't even know until I walked about three feet forward that I didn't feel the charging cable um, from my, you know, phone to the battery pack hitting me in the thigh anymore. And so I looked down, and I don't have my phone and everything else, so I walked back, and my phone's on the ground, I spot those immediately, um... And I said, well, wait a second. Now, why is the charging cable not connected to my phone or the block anymore? You know, what happened? And so I'm looking around to see if it got caught on the tree uh, that I hit. And I don't find it. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go buy one. Because, you know, I stood there for like a couple minutes just looking on the ground for it and I didn't find it well anyway I started to walk away and then I said wait a second the charging light on the battery pack was on and normally if the cable had been out for a while it would shut off so I was like it's got to be back there so I walked back and it's not around where I I went and I said well maybe it's further up I looked up and about eight feet back on the trail is the charging cable. Now, I don't know how that happened, but maybe my trekking pole got in the way and I didn't even see it and I ripped it out. And then by the time I realized, you know, what had happened, I hit the tree. I have no idea. But anyway, fun things happening today. Um, about a, an hour into the hike. Don't know how far we've gone. My stomach's already 
is starting to get upset. Um, starting to feel weird, probably because of the medicine that I'm on for the sinus infection. Um, but, and probably not enough water. Anyway, pressing on, had to stop to use the restroom and all that other fun jazz. Um, and I thought that my hiking buddy, AKA my girlfriend that I've been hiking with, um, she was ahead of me, you know, it had been a while, it had been like almost an hour, and I wasn't catching up, and I hike a little bit faster than she does, um, on some parts, and so I had to stop to get water, send her a text message, so I was like, hey, you know, I'm not directly behind you anymore. I can't hear your music. She texts me back about 20 minutes later. Says, I'm at the shelter. Well, then I said, all right, cool. Well, wait for me there. And uh, she waited for me. Little did I know that the shelter was 1.3 miles ahead. And she... Uh, went as fast as she could to that so I don't know I guess I freaked out a little bit but caught up to her um, this looks like there was a fire here or something I can't uh, I should have looked at that note back there but yeah this uh, looked like there was a fire here not too long ago Everything's kind of burnt. Anyway, um, to make a long story short, she's in front of me again. Um, but anyway, we had 24.8 miles this morning. Uh, we're down to 17. Now it is 10.45. Oh God, I've got a lot, of, a lot more to go. Um, trying to get there. I mean, if we walk an average of two miles an hour, you know, for the next nine hours, and we should get to where we want to go by 7.30 tonight. And, uh, well, needless to say, I don't want to be out here until 7.30 at night because that's dark. I haven't been videoing a lot today uh, just because there has been no views, um, no viewpoints, I should say. Um, the trail has been uh, just about uh, just like this uh, for almost the entire day. Uh, 13 miles exactly done by lunch, which was taken at 12.15ish. Um, it is 12.51 and back on the trail and hiking um, for lunch. Uh, all I was able to eat was a cliff bar and some uh, fruit chewy things I got from Walmart. Um, so that was lunch. Uh, I'm about to come up to a highway. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got to pass two other highways today. Uh, so. But got 11.8 or just under 11.8 left for the day. Um, and I don't know, feeling kind of like I got hit by a bus, to be honest. Uh, it's been really weird uh, trying to hike at like three three plus miles an hour all day um, today especially when you get up to that speed and all you're doing is oh my gosh your feet are moving so quick to try and lift up before it hits a rock or 
um, you turn your ankle and then you have to pick it up real quick so that you can get your next foot down in between all of the PA rocks. Um, but the trail has not been this nice. Like what I'm showing you now, it's not been this nice uh, for most of today. This is, this is really nice compared to what we were going through earlier. But um, went through the burn section, uh, burned, uh, it was a control burn. Um, back there that uh, I was showing you earlier today. They did that in uh, middle of May is what I think I can remember from the date on the card. And looked like things were growing back pretty quickly after the controlled burn. So that's good news. Well, look at this water source. That's pretty cool. That gets pretty deep, too. So that rope swing is perfect. Um, I did, however, right on the rock, in the middle of your screen, I just saw the biggest rat snake I have ever seen on the trail so far. It was about four, four to five feet long, man. It was big. Um, but... Gonna get water out of this for a little bit. Uh, gonna drink up, rehydrate. Uh, did another, did another 3.3 miles in under an hour. So, looking pretty good on today's averages. I like to take my time through it, you know, most of the time, but uh, To enjoy things like this, if I was running down mountains and everything, you know, I'd I'd miss this. So, anyway, got um oh goodness, eight miles left, something like that. Two thirty. Doing pretty good. I'll see y'all later. All right. The first view of today. Look how awesome this is. Oh man. That's, that's so cool. You can see like, you know, all the different, you know, areas. It's just so much trees here and then farmland and towns and cities out that way and highways and commercial, commercialized areas is crazy. You know, and you get up here and my mind just, just wanders looking at a lot of this stuff. And I start thinking about multiple different things, but look how cool that is. I mean, this view, so awesome. There's so much moisture in there too. There's so much haze and... Oh, it's hot. It's humid too, but... The trail uh, is right up here, and we're going up in an elevation, maybe two or three hundred feet. Um, but it has slowed me down because um, all of the rest of today has been a whole bunch of like little tiny hills here and there. Um, mostly flat, but, oh well, you can't complain, it's the trail, I knew it was going to happen, um, let's see, got about seven miles left, uh, it is 312, in the afternoon and I would love to be done before it gets dark would love to be done before it gets dark but we'll see we'll see what my body can do and can take and 
That'd be awesome. But anyway, I'll put the phone up. Got to concentrate a little bit more. Use the hiking poles. But this is what PA has been. Rocks. And uh, this is what it will continue to be until about another 100 miles or so. All right, y'all, so uh, this is one of the last views of today. Um, we've done almost 23 or 22 miles or something. Um, but more of Pennsylvania, a whole lot of farmlands and rolling hills over there. And uh, trees and buildings everywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyway, somewhere over that way is where I'm staying tonight. Um, but anyway, um, have another two, well, a little bit less than two miles uh, to go to end this day. Ooh, that's a cool rock. Um, but yeah, just probably one point nine one point eight somewhere around there um, to end uh, it is 512 and the crazy thing about today is it will almost be a 25 mile day also what is really crazy is we're still seeing northbounders. I just passed one, not but like two minutes ago. And I asked him, I was like, you know, are you northbound? Like, actually, like, north-northbound. You know, not like section hiking northbound. No, like, started in Georgia, northbounder. He was like, yeah. And, um... I met another one yesterday as well. This is crazy. Um, I mean, they're still coming, but they shut Katahdin down the first week in October. So, good luck to them. Uh, I know they're, they're probably going to bounce up to Katahdin, do Katahdin, and then work their way south. That's what I would do, but I'm hiking south, so I don't have to do that. But uh, anyway, nice little field. And today is done. I cannot wait to sit down and eat something. Um, just finished 24.8, right in time to I'm excited. Um, looking forward to it. Um, but getting picked up in a little bit by a family friend. And I will see y'all tomorrow.